Very happy to, uh, to see uh, you here. Uh, so the idea of the, the day is to discover um, the, the establishment. The Ugandan and Belgian lecturers they all have already met in Uganda and unfortunately uh, the exchange study project phase two, which takes place in Belgium, had to be postponed for all, more than a year. But uh, finally the big moment was there on Saturday. Uh, they met each other again and they were uh, very happy to just uh, be together again. Yeah. In Belgium, we had what we call school wars to decide who would direct the, um, the education. We expect to interact with their students and compare the pedagogies and see how do they handle the children here and how do the children learn. For us, we have active teaching and learning and we integrate ICT in teaching and learning slowly but surely. So we want to see what is it that we can learn from Belgium that we can take them back, back to our schools to enhance the competences of our lecturers, but also to learn from uh, global citizenship. That is one of the topics that we learned. We want to see how do we integrate global citizenship and how do we incorporate it in our teaching and learning. L'idée donc c'était de, de proposer euh, un programme qui permet d'avoir vraiment une vue globale sur euh, comment fonctionne une institution euh, de formation d'enseignants euh, ici. Euh, en Fédération Allemagne Bruxelles et plus, plus exactement au sein de l'ENALUX. À travers deux axes, c'était un, de voir comment on avait utilisé les nouvelles technologies dans nos dispositifs d'apprentissage pendant la période Covid. Et alors le, le deuxième axe, c'était comment est-ce qu'on exploite l'apprentissage des nouvelles technologies dans la formation des, des, des futurs enseignants. We are encouraged to take the class, the group, the children outside yeah. and uh, to learn in the nature, mm. to learn uh, outside the classroom. Mm. And the experience has shown that people learn better, they work better in group also, they are motivated. Yeah. So for the motivation is very interesting. Mm. We visited the class of PE, physical education. This class, actually, the pitch was indoor, meaning that students have an opportunity of studying every any time of the day. So you saw a lot there in that college, and we admired the way the programs are arranged. I'm very happy, and I think I had many things to take home. Donc on part ici d'un grand principe où c'est un lieu de travail, mais aussi un lieu de, de vie. Vous allez voir en parcourant le, le lab, euh, il y a toute une série de choses bizarres, mais c'est la créativité. I was very much inspired by the way teaching is done. The ICT lab, I was really very much inspired by that lab and I only wish we had one or so where our students can go and practice, okay, how to use uh, modern technologies in teaching. We are going to do two main parts. First one is to think about the different currents uh, of uh, GCE and then we are going to think together about the universalism of universal value.
It is based on the idea that the world is yeah, maybe so, so it turns it's back on modernity. It turns back on modernity from where it is now. Uh, hold on, yeah. Uh, hold on. Defined by four characteristics. Defined by four characteristics, and one of the characteristics is the capitalist organization of economic and social life. So and they want the capitalist organization. The objective of that one, we feel that GCE develop openness to otherness. That is the habitual reason. The exchange was very nice because we are learning new ideas of the global citizenship and its incorporation in our education system to improve performance and have a better world altogether. To me, universal values are very important for every society. As long as we follow the principles of universal values, irrespective of our dynamics, so we need the unity in diversity to respect one another's values and we live a better life. We say respect for human rights in Uganda means this and this. They say then respect for justice. This can cut across Europe and Africa, but with some element to be modified. Les ateliers ont été particulièrement intéressants, les ateliers sur les valeurs, euh, à savoir si les valeurs étaient réellement les valeurs universelles, sont vraiment des valeurs universelles. Je trouvais ça très très riche. Euh, la proposition de cadre pour euh, relire nos euh, séquences d'éducation à la citoyenneté mondiale ou nos cours en général sont, sont vraiment des outils très intéressant et ça a donc annoncé la couleur et Enable nous ont permis de construire ensemble et de découvrir de nouveaux outils dont on peut se servir dans nos cours. When we go back to Uganda, we are going to share this experience with our colleagues in the country and see how we can make changes, especially with active pedagogy. This is something we started on up in about four years ago with the project, but it's now giving us, putting it at a certain level. Uh, so that we want, we want to see that our colleges can involve the learners in the learning process. So that when we train our teachers, then they, when they also go to the secondary schools and primary schools, they do the same. Where a learner manages uh, the learning himself or herself, and the teacher is just a facilitator. Ce qui a été marquant, c'est pas tant ce qu'on a vu ou euh, enfin ce qu'on a vu a suscité les discussions, mais c'est vraiment les questions qui ont été posées euh, et les réflexions que ça a amené au fur et à mesure de la semaine. Euh, et on a pu vraiment euh, continuer à évoluer sur nos pratiques et sur la perspective, la manière d'enseigner, etc. Et de mettre ça en balance avec leurs expériences et notre expérience. En fait, d'alimenter le dialogue et les réflexions, je pense que c'était vraiment le plus important et le, le plus enrichissant.